It's a necessity often that forces people to cross borders. Um, nobody wants to leave their families and their homes and their cultures behind. Treatment, they say that will be a development, there will be jobs, there will be many things. But instead of, we have a global economic crisis and we have massive unemployed layoff and many people before was trying to have informal economy but at this time even the informal economy is not an option because everyone is selling everything or even immigrate is not an option either because as you can see uh, in the United States people is being persecuted as criminal so this is the foreign people that come from the South, Central America, but they don't have nothing, no infrastructure, no water, no electricity, no housing, no nothing. Within a decade of NAFTA, the real median income of Mexican working people dropped 30%. That's the story that's not told. In order to make education a commodity that can be traded between states, you have to privatize it, and in order to privatize it, it helps a great deal if you standardize it. After it was signed, we were told that it was going to bring prosperity to workers in Canada and the United States and Mexico. And we all know, living in Canada, that it resulted in uh, the deindustrialization of the manufacturing basin. NAFTA wasn't just about trade. It was about freeing up uh, the flow of capital. So it was about giving capital more options about where to produce, where to invest and using that power to threaten workers and to weaken workers. The solution to this problem is not to turn against the Mexicans who are forced to migrate to the United States in search of um, a way to feed their families. The solution is for us as a working class, as working people, to stand together and change the rules of the game. Nos decían que con el Tratado de Libre Comercio íbamos a tener un mejor futuro, un me mejor educación para todo, para la escuela, comida y todo, y pues al contrario, nos dieron en la fregada porque hay más pobreza, hay más hambre, muchos niños no van a la escuela porque no les alcanza a los padres con lo que uno gana en las maquiladoras. Cuando nosotros les vamos a, a generar millones y millones de pesos, y no, por eso nosotros nos empezamos a organizar aquí.